will be the ingredients you need. Um, eggs. Uh, milk. I'm using almond and milk because it's healthier, but you can use any milk. Sugar. Vanilla. And ground cinnamon. What you're going to do is get out how many eggs you're going to use. I'm using two eggs. Um, you guys, I'm not making like too much, but I'm making some. Marshall, what I suggest you doing is cracking your eggs first. It just makes it a whole lot easier. I would use a whisk because it makes sure the eggs like fluffier and stuff. And I would beat your eggs a little bit before you add the other ingredients so it's easier to like mix in. So just do that for a little bit. One happens because you don't really have measurements. So I just take a little bit of vanilla and you pour in as much as you want. And I just pour it in a little bit. It's like a teaspoon. And then milk. You do the same. You just pour in a little bit. Probably a little bit more. Okay. For cinnamon. I can show you that. You pour in as half. How much you like, and I like cinnamon, so I'm just gonna pour it in all over, okay? And then sugar. Everybody loves sugar with this. I use one half tablespoons of sugar. You can add a tablespoon if you want, don't just add a little bit more. I want to whisk that together and mix it all in for about a minute or two. You want to scrape the side because it gets really messy. I'm just going to preheat your oven to medium, which is five. And it, we do turn up the volume because it takes a little while. So we, if you want to get it done faster, turn it up. Just watch it more. Before so all that happens, you want to. Put some butter on your pan just so it doesn't stick. And yeah, butter is good for you, so like if you like it, put some on it. and just like wait till that melts and stuff. And yeah. Okay, so if you're following the exact recipe I'm doing, this will make like four to five pieces. So then what you want to do is you want to dip your bread and just for a little bit do not let it soak or it'll make the bread all like soggy and stuff and then you want to shake it off and get any of the extra stuff off because you know ew it's not coming off and then you just want to place it on there and let it cook for like up to like a minute or so and then you want to flip it when the bottom is golden brown the bread is looking golden brown the bottom is and so you just want to take it and you want to flip it over and then it should look like that it should be almost done just give it a little bit more time oh when i did change the temperature to like closer to high so it could a little bit faster and yeah so you want to repeat this step as many times as how many pieces of bread you want so yeah i hope you guys like this and I'll show you a finished product at the end. So here's the finished product. Um this is what it looks like. My recipe made four pieces of bread exactly. Um now you can add like powdered sugar, um berries, whipped cream, sugar, cinnamon, whatever you like to add to like your pancakes and French toast. But for me I'm just gonna be adding this country kitchen's original syrup. I sometimes add fruit to this, and sometimes I use maple, real maple syrup. But today I'm just going to use this because, you know, it's easier. And, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. Give this a big video a thumbs up. And comment down some more questions you'd like. See ya. Bye.